This time I'm going to do an experiment of how to detect radon. Radon is the radioactive gas that is within the uranium decay chain. And I'm going to use coal for this. Exactly two grams of coal. I will place some of this coal beneath a piece of uranium ore. I will place some of it next to my computer. And I will place another 2 grams inside of this vial that is filled with uh, radium watch hands. And there we go. Radium watch hands mixed with coal. Today, after exactly two weeks of measuring, we will try to evaluate the results of the radon test with the charcoal. I placed the dosimeter inside some kind of lead shield, but it doesn't help all that much as you can see. We still have 0.35 microsieverts here. But let's hope the background radiation doesn't interfere all that much with our results. I will measure the counts per minute over 10 minutes to get a good average. And the stuff you can see there is the one, the container that's been next to my computer. So let's see what the results are. The next one I will measure is this closed one. So that should in theory have the, next one the lowest I will be measuring count. is the one with the uranium ore that has been in this container for two weeks. I will not move the uranium ore as not to interfere with background radiation. Holy shit. This is the stuff with the, that has been with the uranium ore and it's really fucking radioactive. Oh god. Again, here it is for you on video. So you believe me after all because this is quite crazy as you can see. This coal here irradiates with over two microsieverts. Can you see it? Now just lift up the dosimeter and place it in the exact same location. And then I will show you this is coal. This is nothing else but coal. And then I will take the coal away and show you the coal that's been next to my computer, far away from the uranium. And place it underneath the dosimeter in exactly the same way. And you will see there's nothing going on here. You remember this is background radiation. 0.3 microsieverts is background radiation here. 4.6, well, that's a bit, but that's probably just random. You can see there's oh, two microsieverts from the other coal, and it's just coal. Trust me, <laughs> it's irradiated coal. And the final sample which I am going to check is this vial with a radium watch hands. Okay, now this is the coal that has been with the radium watch hands. I made sure to remove all of the radium watch hands. There in this vial. And I'll place them where they have been before. Let's not interfere with background radiation again. And you can see there's quite a lot going on there. 400 counts already. Oh my god. Let's see what the final results will be. I'm curious. Alright folks, the results are in. The coal that has been in a closed container had 47 counts per minute in the beginning and then averaged to 57 counts per minute. As I said, I measured all this for 10 minutes to get a good average. The container that's been next to my computer had 71 counts per minute on the beginning and 62 counts per minute on average, which is a slight increase as you can see, 57 versus 62 counts per minute, but it means that my air is probably not so polluted with the radon and other nucleates as I thought. But the bad thing is, this uraninite is uranium ore 
had 260 counts per minute in the beginning and then also averaged to uh, 260 counts per minute. And radium, the coal that has been with the watch hands, had 860 counts per minute in the first minute and averaged to 841 counts per minute. So you can see this is a really, really big increase. We had 57 counts per minute of the closed container versus the 62 counts per minute of open air. This is 260 counts per minute from uraninite, uranium ore that is, versus the 841 counts per minute of the coal that has just been with a tiny bit of, with a few tiny uh, radium watch hands. Now let's take a look at some other quite interesting facts. You can see this is the vial with the watch hands. If I place that in front of the Kaiga Müller tube, you can see yeah it does irradiate, but not that strongly. If you compare this to the uranium ore, which I do have in my hand right now and it's already irradiating the whole place here, I will try to put it in about the same distance as the watch hands were in the vial and you can see there's a crazy lot of radiation going on. Now what should make you curious is that you just saw that the radium watch hands are a lot less radioactive than the uranium ore, but on our measurement we got 260 counts per minute on the uranium ore and 841 counts per minute on the radium. No coal. Let's spin it with each. So, um, this is kind of contrary, isn't it? It's kind of weird. Well, the explanation is rather easy. If we have a look at the uranium decay chain, you can see uranium on the top with a half time of 4.5 billion years. That is some other nuclide uh, in the uranium ore I have. And that decays into thorium, protactinium, and many others. And as you can see, a lot of them have really, really large half times. But then, there we are. Radium. The radium from our watch hands has a half time of just 1590 years compared to 4.5 billion years of the uranium. And um, you can see. The next nuclide after radium, the daughter nuclide of radium, is radon, which is a radioactive noble gas, and um, that has a half time of just 3.8 days. And while the radon, as a gas, um, it is airborne and it will sort of cling to the coal. And uh, radon has daughter nuclides like polonium, lead, bismuth. Some more polonium that have very short half times, as you can see, so they are highly radioactive. What happened with both the uh, coal that has been with the uranium ore as with the coal that has been with the radium is that the radon, the only, the one and the only gas in this decay chain, got absorbed by the coal, and what we can measure is radon and its direct daughter nucleates. And as you can see, or as you can imagine, it takes a long time from this uranium, even though the amount of uranium is great, as a, there's a really big lot of uranium, it's, it's a big chunk compared to those tiny watch hands. But as the half times are so long until it finally becomes radon that can stick to the coal, even this big, much more radioactive rock contaminated the coal much less than the radium actually did because of the shorter half time, the much shorter half time. I hope this made sense. I don't know if it oh, I don't know if it did big because I'm doing this sort of freestyle. I hope it made sense to you. If not, just feel free to leave a comment and ask questions there.